Hi, Ed Chasen with Slick Time Savers. Today's keyword of the day is going to be about cooking and cookware. This is a very interesting case study about entering a niche and choosing the right group of keywords that make money. I don't know about you, but I just love cooking. If I had to do it all over again, I think this would be the career path I would choose. The cooking niche kind of reminds me of when I dominated the mortgage market in the early days of the internet. Looking at the cooking keywords and the types of websites that dominate the rankings, it looks like a labor of love, no different than when I competed in the mortgage market and Google had to manually remove me from their listings because of all the complaints about the new kid on the block. You see, people who put their heart and soul into this will do whatever it takes to keep their rankings because they feel they are entitled to the rankings. I got a lot of hate mail when I knocked those types of websites from the top. I don't think the cooking niche would be much different today. In this case study, I'm going to show you how you still can get into this type of market and choose the proper niche to where it makes sense and makes money. Okay, now let's take a look at the keyword cooking. First thing I always look at before I even do anything is to see if there's any money in the market or the niche or in the keyword group that I'm working on. This is the cooking keyword list that I've generated from Google Suggest. We got 4,520 keywords for cooking. Next thing I'm always looking for is how much money is being poured into advertising. Should always look at how much money because this is gonna this particular keyword group is gonna really surprise you. It did for me. If I saw it from low to high, eleven's being the maximum, eight minimum as far as all the slots being occupied on the right hand side of the Google search page. And we scroll down till we see the first seven and bingo. There's your first seven. Now the ads are starting to diminish. Out of over 4,000 keywords, you look at the scroll bar and it's telling you it's approximately 10-15% of the maximum amount of ads being occupied for pay for click. I would have thought it would have been a lot, lot higher as far as how much money is poured into this being such a popular market. And cooking is both a market and a niche. So let's take a look from low to high is how easy is it to get into this particular group of keywords. Scroll down till we see the first red. It's approximately 25-35% group of keywords that are doable. But there's so little money that is in this particular group of keywords. It's like you really don't want to waste your time here. Now, let's take a look at cookware. Did the same thing, ran it in Google Suggest. We have just under 3,000 keywords, approximately the same as cooking. We take a look at what the ad counts are. Again, another surprise. We have approximately 65-70% out of this group of keywords that have money going in to this particular niche. And the difference between the two of them is that one's hard goods and the other one is about information. For those that are into information, really important to look at this. Let's take a look at cooking for instance. What kind of keywords that are in cooking that are getting advertising? Cooking pots, hard goods, jobs, pans. We have jobs again, activities, utensils. Those types of keywords, schools, are getting all the advertising. And it goes on. Now, if you start going down to where... We're talking about recipes, for instance, information, cooking apples, flounder. Look at the ad counts. 
They're almost next to nothing. Online cooking, cooking okra, cooking cod. These are recipes, and you're not seeing any any advertising. Now, here's the other side to this whole thing. They're all red. They're all heavy hitters. They're all websites, dead authority sites, trying to get break into keywords that you have next to impossible, or unless you're really good, have a lot of money and a lot of time on your hands to start ranking for, let's say, cooking apples. One ad. It's telling me that there's not money to be made here. Because if there was money to be made here, the pay-per-click people would have a large amount of ads. As opposed to cookware. Everything that has to do with cookware, pretty much, is about hard goods. Funky cookware. Eight ads. Randomly pick them. iPack cookware. Even the um, easy ones. Dura cookware. Nine ads. Very doable. Then you have your local keywords, some reason or another. Local keywords seem to be easier keywords to rank for. Again, here we go. 11 ads. Non-stick cookware. Uh, RW. Cookware fundraiser. Not too much available here as far as keywords with a lot of ads. But again, getting back to when you pick any market and then start getting down into particular niches, you should always look first. Is there any money in here? Then find out how hard it is to get in there. If there's a lot of green, a lot of yellow, you have a chance. But in cooking, it's two strikes against you. Not much money is being invested in the keyword itself, cooking. And everybody and his brother that's an authority is offering some form of information, very hard market and niche to break into. So here's a prime example of a group of keywords. They're both related. Cookware is part of the cooking market. Cooking itself is both a market and a niche. So this tool right away tells you where do you spend your time immediately and where to not even lift a finger. If you think this was helpful, please spread the word. Leave a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. And we'll see you later for the next keyword of the day.